This is a tutorial on creating uh, handlebars for a bicycle. I'll start with a reference image. I'm going to just click image plane here and I um, got this image. It's pretty bright so I'll go into the attribute editor and turn down uh, color gain just so uh, you can see in front of it a little better. And I also uh, will make it so you only see it through the front view. And I might um, move it back a little bit as well so we can see the uh, surface through it when we're looking in the front view. So this is mostly just to get you know rough proportions. Um, so I'll start with a cylinder and uh, hold down E, uh, click, and make sure discrete rotate is on so that I can rotate in 15 degree increments. And I'm going to change this to um, 12 subdivisions. And uh, let's move this up here. And I'm just going to do half of it and then mirror it. So um, I'll move the pivot point to the size. I'm going to hold uh, D for pivot move and uh, hold down V for point snap and just snap that middle mouse drag to snap that to the side. Then I'll select the uh, X axis here and hold down the X for a grid snap and middle mouse drag and that should move uh, to exactly the center there. And let's just scale this down proportionally so it's about that size. And um, now I'll uh, I don't need the faces on either side of this so I'm just gonna right mouse click choose face and select all the faces, but then hold down shift and deselect the ones in the middle. So I only have the end caps selected and press delete. So let's go back to the front view. Now I'm going to right mouse click, choose edge, double click this edge to select the whole edge and extrude the edge along here. Shift, right mouse click, extrude edge and just pull this straight out to about there. And we can increase the division so this has some more detail on it. Good. Okay, so that's that part. Um, then I'm going to build uh, this part with a torus. So, um, and we want it to be about the same width as that. So, let's create a torus and move it into position. And it's going to be just a just a half torus. Here, you can't really see that. should probably change my um, color background here. Window, settings, preferences. I think it's color settings. 3D views. It just seems a little dark. Okay. Um, so this, uh, let's change this to 12 also, so it's the same. Subdivision height, I guess that is. Yeah. And then um, we only need this side of it. So uh, that, that is that front side of it. And let's just move this up into position. And then we can we'll extrude that. So we just need to kind of connect these two things. Let's look back in the front view, get this sort of lined up to about there. Um, and I can see that the width of this circle here seems smaller than the width of that circle there. So we want to get those about the same. Probably should have done this um, before I deleted that half. But it should be okay. Let's just try just regular old scale. see how that looks. Um, it's probably a more scientific way of doing this than trying to eyeball it. Maybe a little bit bigger. Don't know if it'll let me... Yeah, that looks pretty believably about the same. Okay, um, so now... Um, and let's look at the front view for how... See, this comes down kind of longer here, so um, 
So I might try adjusting the radius a little bit, actually, and moving it down some. Let's check that in the front view. Yeah, that's a little closer. Okay. Let me kind of split the difference there. All right, so now I will combine these two. Mesh, combine, so now they're one object. And then I will select the right mouse click, select the edge, select the edge along this one, shift select the edge along that one, shift right mouse click, bridge. And that connects those two, it seems to be twisted. So we can use um, bridge offset to fix that actually. So just select bridge offset here and middle mouse drag to get the correct ones lined up. That looks right now, good. And then we'll increase the number of divisions. Um, just select divisions and I'm just middle mouse dragging here. I just select this thing in the channel box and middle mouse drag to adjust the number. And then uh, uh, curve type, let's use uh, either blend or you can try curve. Yeah, blend's going to work better. So that's going to get us pretty close um, to putting those together. And let's call that good. So now um, I'll adjust these. So I'm just going to select some edges to give myself a little bit more room here. So I'm just going to right mouse click edge, double click on the edge, shift right mouse click, slide edge tool, and then I'll just middle mouse drag spread these out a bit. And slide edge tries to maintain the shape um, while moving the edge. Just kind of spreading this out. Whoops, that should be... There we go. Probably get another edge in there. I might and give myself a little bit more room with these. You can do more than one at a time, too. Oops. Maybe uh, I'll add an edge loop, so I'll use um, Mesh Tools, Multi-Cut, hold down the Control key, add one in here, and then um, I just think to kind of scale that. Um, the best way to do that actually is um, if I do uh, Control F9 to convert it to vertices selection and then go into the Move tool, but hold down the Move tool, W for the Move tool, and go to um, um, where's normal? I thought it was here. Um, I guess I, I'm just thinking of the newer version of Maya. So let's just double click on the move tool and choose normal. And then uh, you can push those out a little bit. And maybe go back to object and move that back. A little bit of tweaking here. I need to do the same here. I can select this one, shift, double click the next, whoops. Select this one, shift, double click the next one, and move that back some. Anyways, that could probably deserve a little bit more tweaking, but um, it looks all right. So um, now we want to put a cap on the end here. So right mouse click edge, uh, double click the edge, shift right mouse click fill hole. And that looks weird, so we'll put some cuts in there. Uh, mesh tools, multi-cut tool, and I'll do one down the middle. Enter, one here, one here, and uh, one through the middle. Okay. And then just to kind of keep this here, I'll put another edge. So I'm holding down control with the multi-cut tool to put a little holding edge in there so it kind of keeps that shape when we smooth. Okay, um, I still think that could use a little love, that connection there, but let's just leave it for now to keep this short. Um, I'll mirror it now. So, uh, uh, mesh mirror geometry. Uh, 
Oops, so the default's not set correctly. So let's go mirror geometry options and do, it should be positive x direction. That's the, see that little red x? That's a positive x direction mirror. Um, looks like it did a clean job of that. And um, yeah, so that's um, kind of the basic structure of building a handlebars.